It's Off the Beaten Path Podcast with me, Ben Barrett. And you won't be hearing any of that here. the Beaten Path podcast with me, Ben Merritt. And there you go. That's the Midtown Violets. Karen Waldrop and Ashley K. Thomas uh, turned into a duo, but it started out as a, hey, you want to fill in on my set once? Hey, you want to do a 30-day tour? And then it became, hey, you just want to partner up? <laughs> Karen and Ashley kind of just hit it off. They're both from like extreme different areas of the country. Uh, one of them is a Bayou girl. She is from, uh, uh, actually, I don't know exactly where she's from. That would be Karen, by the way. Karen is the Bayou lady. And uh, Rocky Mountain woman Ashley Thomas. Uh, So completely different backgrounds in country music. But they uh, 
meld together with great instrumentation and uh, great harmonies that we heard there. Uh, by the way, that is the title track of their new album that just came out. That was Don't Give Up. So uh, be sure to check that one out. It came out early January. Uh, don't 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 hesitate though. Go check that one out. That's very good. So Ben Merritt hanging out with you here on Off the Beaten Path podcast. Technically the last regular uh, episode of the first season. Next week going to be a very cool episode uh, that I recorded. Two nights ago <laughs> with uh, with Charlie Parr. Going to do some live music for you. Quote, unquote, live music for you. So stick around. I got a great interview with Mr. Levi Riggs coming up this episode, though. But first, he's an Air Force brat. He's a military brat. And, uh, well, he, he just he claims uh, L.A. as his hometown. But he was born in Louisiana and spent a lot of time everywhere. As a matter of fact, he's actually a classically trained opera singer. Uh, from the University of Vienna, Austria. There you go. <laughs> I found it out by reading his bio on his website. So, uh, But again, there he is, hailing out of El Sanguno. El Sanguno? Yeah. That's what happens when you live in northern Wisconsin. You don't have any of that. So, <laughs> Coming out of California, here he is. This is Keith Walker. Keith Walker, he got his new EP out just recently, as a matter of fact, only like a week ago. Uh, check it out. This one is Miles From You. It's off the Beaten Path podcast with me, Ben Merritt. I remember that best western outskirts of Kansas City talking and pretending you were laying right there with me Holding on long distance You way too far away Waking in the morning Foam pressed against my face Miles from you Miles from you All alone, lonely there Wishing I was anywhere But my First time I felt it in the kitchen, the tighter I held on to you, the more I felt you drifting out the door, down the road, and I just saw myself as I lost how where to turn you into that someone else. My Standing there 
Like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash off the beaten path. And follow us on Twitter at OTBP Podcast. I've got one hand on your shoulder, one down on your head. Every tender moment never felt as good as this. I moved just a little closer and our fingers joined the dance. Palm against palm, we sway to the rhythm of the band and it feels like love. Like I found a whole new world Closer than close I can't let you go Every little touch Feels like a band-aid on my soul Beaten Path Podcast with me, Ben Merritt, and there you go. That is Mr. Luke Robinson, and Luke feels like love tonight. That's off the Swerve album. You can find that one on his website, or actually he's got that on CD Baby, so be sure to check that out. Uh, Luke has been doing it for a long time. He's in his young 20s, but he's been in the music business since like 9 or 10 years old. He's one of those talent show kids. He uh, won Best Act Under 16 and kind of just took off from there. So Luke Robinson been in the biz long enough to be considered a veteran, even though in real life he's still just a young pup. <laughs> ben Merritt again, trying to introduce you to some brand new country music, and I'm hoping that you're finding some, and then hoping that you're enjoying it. Levi Riggs going to stop by the studio and uh, do a little interview with me here in just a little bit. Levi, a great guy. Be sure to check out his stuff and be ready for the interview when it comes up. Mother and daughter duo, although you wouldn't know it by A, looking at them, and B, listening to them. Uh, this is a mother and daughter duo. It's Kelly and Jamie. Jamie being mom, Kelly being the 15-year-old daughter. Uh, so it's amazing how beautiful these two voices come together. And I guess it you could say it runs in the family, obviously. So, But here they are. This is Bells and Whistles. That's B-E-L-L-E-S. Bells, as in like Southern Bells. Coming out of Omaha, Nebraska. This is it. This is Bells and Whistles and Boy Like You. So here it is. It's Off the Beaten Path Podcast with me, Ben Merritt. Once she 
Like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash off the beaten path. Appreciate you. You're just so cool. Cool. And follow us on Twitter at OTBP Podcast. Off the Beaten Path Podcast with me, Ben Merritt, and I have the distinct honor of introducing people to brand new country music artists, and I really, really appreciate it, and I love it, and I really love it when they come into studio because I don't have to wait for phone calls and things like that, and... Thankfully, I've got that opportunity with Levi Riggs. Levi, how are you, man? Hey, I'm great, Ben. Thanks for having us. Definitely. And uh, I, I have to precursor this. Levi, you were just on the radio station that I was at. Yeah. And we just stopped that, put it into weather, commercials, and a bunch of songs, and now we're just going live right now. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, it's quick turnaround. I'm, Is that kind of like time travel? It, it kind of, yeah, because <laughs> I mean... we were just live on the radio, but this won't air for like three weeks. Okay. <laughs> So it, you'll hear this three weeks later, and you'll go, I remember that. Yeah. But I don't remember that. <laughs> anyway. So uh, we're here with Levi and uh, Joey, $15. It's yes. <laughs> a running gag. Anyway, um, so we've got Levi here in studio for Off the Beaten Path podcast. And uh, Levi is, well, here's the icebreaker questions that I have to ask everybody. Okay. Question number one. Here it is. And you can be as specific as you want to be. <laughs> Where are you right now? I am in Rhinelander at your studio. Correct. Yes. <laughs> you got it. See, I am in a wooden stool. <laughs> kind of, yeah, yeah, with a nice sort of, with these a are, swivel thing. These are new stools, by <laughs> yes. the way. Yeah. So, <laughs> See, I told you these don't work when you're in studio. Right. Because question number two, what are you doing besides talking to me right now? Well, I'm holding my guitar pick. That's a good. That's good. Yeah, you <laughs> yeah. got a mocha right there too. I got too. a mocha and my Gibson right here on my lap. There you go. It's all good. See, it's multitasking. Yeah. Joey, what are you doing right now? Uh, Nothing. <laughs> not, much. I'm, not much. I'm feeling the effects of this caffeine from uh, this coffee. Are you Are you coming? So, are you I'm trying to wind down now. Yeah, I was about to say, are you coming down? Because you got two. <laughs> <laughs> you got plenty of time to get another one, man. Don't worry. <laughs> so Levi's in studio, and uh, Levi. 
I've played some of your stuff here on yeah. the uh, podcast before, actually. Yeah, yeah. I really appreciate the stuff that you got out there. Thank you. And I was really excited to see that you had new music coming out. Yeah. Because every once in a while, you got new artists. They got great EPs that come out. And then you're like, well, whatever happened to him? Right. But you're following up with another great EP. Thank you. Uh, the first one, well, actually, the second one is the yeah. one I'm referencing. Yeah. Because uh, you got three EPs out there. Right. Right. A lot of people are like, hey, he's brand new. No, he's got three EPs. Yeah. Go check him out. It takes a while to get the you know the word of mouth going. Definitely. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Especially when you're new and you've yeah. got you know just a solid fan base that are like super fans, but you want those casual fans too. Yep, yep. exactly. So, all right. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself, Levi. You know, it's – Yeah. I know that you're a Midwest boy. Yep. Where are yep. you from? I grew up in uh, Danville, Indiana. We moved around a lot when I was a kid. I lived in Minnesota a little bit and down in Texas. That was a culture shock when that <laughs> happened. Um, but uh, but we moved back to Indiana. I went to went to high school in Danville and uh, went to Purdue. Mm -hmm. Don't hold that against me. I'm a Big Ten fan as well. I'm a Michigan fan. <laughs> so uh, I'm a Big Ten fan except for Ohio State. How yeah, about that? Yeah. Well, I just big, lost, yeah, yeah, I lost yeah. all my fans in Columbus, <laughs> okay. by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, so I uh, went to Purdue, got a degree in agriculture. Um, and uh, and I went to work for a big company called Syngenta, selling uh, Golden Harvest corn and NK soybeans, okay. and, uh, and kept the country music going. I was in the Purdue Glee Club, and, oh. and we got to tour. And I basically, you know, took college on a tour bus with a laptop, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I got to see all kinds of stuff, meet all kinds of people. But really, my heart's in country, and that's what I wanted to do. Now that the Purdue Glee Club, you guys got to yeah. do some pretty big things with that. As yeah, we uh, what we sang in Carnegie Hall. I've been able to meet uh, Neil Armstrong. I had uh, dinner one night with uh, Don Shula and Bob wow. Garcia of the '72 Dolphins. That was pretty awesome. That is pretty um, awesome for a football yeah, fan. Yeah, we we got to go all over the place. So it was it was a blast. I had I just lived it up. But in the back of the Glee Club, you were the kid with the twang, right? I was the kid with the twang. Yeah, we had a we had a show down in uh, Florida, and, and the director came to me. He said, uh, "There's this new Johnny Cash commercial out, uh, Days In or Comfort In or something, and and uh, it's this. I've been everywhere." He goes, "You need to learn that song. You need to learn all the all the places in that song, and we're doing it when we get off the bus in Florida." Right now. So I thought it'd be cool, you know. I just chill on the bus going to Florida, but no, I was studying these lyrics. You know, I've been everywhere, man. You know. And, uh, Do you still remember it oh, word for yeah, word? Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. You yeah, want to yeah. give us some right now? Yeah, man, let's play a little bit of it. <laughs> Come on, Joey. <laughs> this, this is just for fun. Well, actually, just for don't fun. worry about it, Joey. This is the internet. Nobody cares. Come and eat. <laughs> I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. Across the deserts, bare, man. I breathe that mountain air, man. Of travel, I've had my share, man. I've been everywhere. I've been to Reno, Chicago, Fargo, Minnesota, Buffalo, Toronto, Winslow, Sarasota, Wichita, Tulsa, Ottawa, Oklahoma, Tampa, Panama, Mattawa, La Paloma, Banger, Baltimore, Salvador, Amarillo, Tocopilla, Barranquilla, Ampadilla, I'm a killer. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. Across the deserts, bare, man. I breathe that mountain air, man. Of travel, I've had my share, man. I've been everywhere. I've been to Boston, Charleston, Dayton, Louisiana, Washington, Houston, Kingston, Texas, County, Monterey, Faraday, Santa Fe, Tala Person, Glen Rock, Black Rock, Little Rock, Oskaloosa, Tennessee, Tennessee, Chickapee, Spear Lake, Grand Lake, Devil's Lake, Crater Lake, for goodness sake. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. Across the deserts, bare, man. I breathe that mountain air, man. Of travel, I've had my share, man. I've been everywhere. I've been to Louisville, Nashville, Knoxville, Lumberjack, Sheffield, Jacksonville, Waterville, Coastal Rock, Ridgefield, Springfield, Bakersfield, Streetport, Hackensack, Cadillac, Fondalac, Davenport, Idaho, Jellico, Argentina, Diamantina, Pasadena, Catalina. See what I mean? I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. Across the deserts, bare, man. I breathe that mountain air, man. Of travel, I've had my share, man. I've been everywhere. I've been to Pittsburgh, Parkersburg, Gravelsburg, Colorado, Ellisburg, Rexburg, Dixburg, Alabama, Laramore, Adamore, Havistock, Chestnut, Chasta, Nebraska, Alaska, Hope like a Bear, Boo, Waterloo, Kalamazoo, Kansas City, Sioux, 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 Sioux City, Dot City, what a pity. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. Across the deserts, bear, man. I breathe that mountain air, man. Of travel, I've had my share, man. I've been everywhere. Yeah, I've been everywhere. I've been everywhere. I've been everywhere. 
Now, who said you don't learn anything in college, right? Exactly, man. <laughs> a little geography goes a long way. And uh, we were complimenting Joey early on because he's got some pretty fast fingers. Yeah. There was a couple of points in there where you uh, you, you probably were like, oh, my God, <laughs> I'm fast. so fast. <laughs> I'm so good at this. <laughs> so good. <laughs> <laughs> Levi Riggs in studio again here on Off the Beaten Path podcast. And uh, you got to love it when you, the new artist. Yeah. Has a good foundation and a good touch with some of the classic stuff. You know, yeah, Johnny man. Cash, man. Oh, I mean, I love Johnny Cash's stuff. And uh, a couple of days ago was his birthday. And mm-hmm. um, we when actually. When we recorded this. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Just we, so that people exactly, aren't like, wait a minute. Exactly. But uh, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, you know, there was a new song that uh, was re released uh, um, that Johnny Cash wrote. No, I didn't, he, he didn't write, write it, but he performed it. It was uh, mm-hmm. She Used to Love Me a Lot. You know, mm-hmm. it was a cool, cool song. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, we actually had the opportunity to play for one of his good friends, Manuel. Manuel's a. Uh, designer uh, down in Nashville, and um, he uh, he designed all of Johnny Cash's black suits. Oh yeah, and uh, we played for his 79th birthday party, so that was uh, kind of a dream come true to really you know meet a living legend, somebody like who's actually been in contact you know with yeah yeah with, with the man in, in black. June. Yeah yeah, he put the man in black in black. And there said, there he, you go. He said you'll thank me later. Oh, and, yeah. Manuel. Yes, he knows. He does. <laughs> and now Levi Riggs knows yep. Manuel. Yep. There you go. Is he is he gonna is he gonna dress you? Uh, he, you know, we talked about that. I need to get down there and get fitted. But I asked him. I said, uh, you know, what would you see me wearing? He goes, I, I would uh, put you in a in a dark black shirt, no coat or anything, but just be humble about it. Yeah, that's what he told me. Wow. I was like, that's pretty cool. That's you pretty know. intense. Yeah, I was pretty overcome with that uh, with you're, that statement. You're, like, you're walking oh. to the you're walking into the nearest department store. Like, I need a black shirt. I need a black shirt. Where's the black yeah, shirt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody give me a black shirt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But I think it's, you know, Johnny Cash was doing a lot of cool stuff uh, there at the end of his life. And I think, you know, he was really singing about some pretty neat things. Mm-hmm. And I think just, you know, the more the, the more the message that I got from that conversation was just keep doing that type of stuff. Good. You know? so that was Very cool. cool. All right. So Levi Riggs in studio here at the Off the Beaten Path podcast studios, which is also just the radio station I work at. Uh, <laughs> Levi, it, it, you're a great up and coming artist. Again, you do a lot of writing. Yeah. Uh, but you also pick up a couple songs from other people, yeah. and yeah. it's it's good to see the collaboration, I guess. Yeah, I love to collaborate, and uh, and I actually, you know, when I go down to Nashville, I try to write and, and just network with as many different writers as I can. One of the guys that I kind of stumbled into was Dan Truman of Diamond Rio. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, and and uh, we we've, we've written a couple pretty good songs, so it's been pretty neat just to to get down there and and write up, as they say, you know, yeah. try to find better writers than you are and learn something from them and. Some of these more experienced guys, you know, they, they have a lot of uh, great ways to craft lyrics, but they're looking for some energy and some youthfulness to give them a new, uh, you know, topic to write about. Yeah. So, so that's kind of fun, too, you know. You so, come in with a good hook, and then they can they can finish it. You know? There you so go. That's cool. That's cool. What uh, Dream collaboration, songwriting, and singing. Oh, my gosh. What do you, what do you think? Oh, uh, man, songwriting, I mean... It, Writing with Mark Nestler, I think that would be great. You know, I've I've recorded two of his songs, and I got a chance to meet him a couple weeks ago, and and uh, he wants to write, and I think that's really cool. So that is a big I one. I can't wait to do that. Um, if you know anything about country music, Mark Nestler is a huge name in songwriting, so yeah. that would be a huge accomplishment. Yeah, yeah. So uh, and he's just a real down to earth guy, and and we connect on a lot of different levels. So I think that'll be great. Uh, yeah. Dream uh, collaboration with performance. I uh, think it, it can be duet where um, yeah. you know it's um, like you and a girl or you know just collaborating which I think if I could what I call like two dudes yeah this I mean, collaboration <laughs> I think uh, you know right now if I could get my band and, and me and Joey and my sister Lauren to collaborate with the band Perry oh that would be pretty cool you know because we're all related and they're all related and that'd be a pretty cool family band jam I think. it'd be like the Brady Bunch of country oh, music yeah it'd be killer <laughs> Yeah. It'd be the Perry Riggs uh, yeah. collaboration there. Yeah. The Partridge family. Yeah. yeah. They, but, yeah. But Kimberly, man, she's a powerhouse. And, and, and she's think, so tiny. Yeah, I know. And she's, but I think our energy would be oh, yeah. just ridiculous. You know? <laughs> <laughs> just boom, it exploded. Well, think about it. You were just singing you know, Johnny Cash. And yeah. I mean, heck, man, you were leaning forward on this mic and just like almost right there. Yeah. So energy is a bound out of you. So. Thanks. Uh, now it's time for you to actually play one of yeah. your songs, yeah, yeah, though. Yeah, absolutely. So, absolutely. which one do you want to play for us? You want to you want to tell us about? Yeah, this is a song about a girl that's five foot four and fun to kiss, and uh, and I think you guys will really like it. It's clever, um, and I think it's relatable. All right, here you go. It's Levi Riggs live in the Off the Beaten Path Studios with me, Ben Merritt. Mm. 
My best friend's got 50 pairs of shoes Spends an hour at the store looking for shampoo My best friend hates it when I cuss Won't drink beer or go fishing that much My best friend knows nothing about guitars Don't get into poker, smoking big cigars Never checks the oil in the car She's five foot four and fun to kiss The one I want to hang out with on a Sunday When it's raining We'll just lay around and love all day I can talk to her about everything She can talk me into most anything Even drug me down to Disney World My best friend's a girl My best friend hates her freckles on her nose She's as pretty as it gets and doesn't even know it My best friend can be stubborn as a knox Then go and leave a little love note in my tackle box And lately, been talking babies quite a lot She's five foot four and fun to kiss The one I wanna hang out with on a Sunday When it's raining We'll just lay around and love all day I can talk to her about everything She can talk me into most anything Even drug me down to Disney World Yeah, my best friend's a girl She tells me when my pants don't match my shirt She's seen me at my best and loved me at my worst. She's five foot four and fun to kiss. The one I wanna hang out with on a Sunday when it's raining. We'll just lay around and love all day. I can talk to her about everything. She can talk me into most anything. Even drug me down to Disney World Yeah, my best friend's a girl My best friend's a girl I sure love you, girl There you go. There's Levi Riggs and Joey. <laughs> I smashed my finger in the mic. <laughs> <laughs> it's Just the, the goofy stuff that you'll catch here on Off the Beaten Path podcast with me, Ben Merritt. Uh, Levi Riggs here live in studio. And uh, Levi, that's like the third time I've heard you sing that song today. And I was still swaying along. So Great, that, man. It's got staying thanks. power, dude. Thanks, thanks. So there you go. Levi Riggs, again, uh, kind of a new artist, kind of not. You got three EPs out there, so you yeah. got plenty of back catalog yeah. for people to, to catch up on. Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of great stuff out there. And you can get uh, seven free songs if you go to my website, LeviRiggs.com. I got seven free produced songs. Actually, one of them is that one. Yeah. Uh, so if you want it for free, go get it. There you go. Yeah. Uh, I guess this is just a perfect segue into the pimp yourself portion of yeah. the uh, of the show. This is definitely the time for you to kind of just uh, shamelessly just Shameless hey, plug. Okay. this is how you get in touch with Levi yeah, Riggs. Absolutely. This is pimp yourself, man. Tell us so how to get in the touch. website LeviRiggs dot com l e v i r i g g s dot com. You can find me on Spotify. Um, I'm also on Pandora. You can set a little station up there, um, and. Uh, at Levi Riggs on Twitter, mm-hmm. Facebook, I'm really active, and every time that uh, you message me, I'm messaging you back. There you go. So it's nobody in Nashville just you know, <laughs> pretending. It, so. it, at Levi Riggs, we'll get a hashtag yep. me, yep. me. Yeah, hashtag yes. I'm real. Hashtag I'm real. <laughs> it's it's Levi. Yep. <laughs> uh, now I, I have a question for you, sir. You said you're on Instagram, correct? Yes. Do you know the three rules of Instagram? I don't. <gasps> Can you tell me the three rules of Instagram? Rule number one. Is you have to have at least one selfie. Okay. Do you have a selfie? I don't. I don't think so. No? No, I do. I do. I was fishing. <laughs> I was fishing and I got one. It's there. there you You'll go. see it. It's All right. right there. Uh, rule number two okay. is a picture of food. Yes, oh, that's that. true. Okay. The the fish steak may have tacos, counted. Tacos, steak Korean tacos. Yeah? And uh, yeah, yeah. They well, were great. I was going to say the fish may have counted. You know, that, that probably, yeah, that, 
You could stretch that. <laughs> yeah. It became food. Food in any any <laughs> stage of the process, I think. Right. So, And then uh, rule number three is a two-parter. It's one or the other okay. or both if you want to go for extra, po- for extra points. So uh, a sunset or a sunrise mm-hmm. or your feet in front of some body of water. You know, like those, oh, my life's so tough picture. Yeah. Everyone's Make everybody in, jealous yeah. picture. Exactly. Yeah. No, we've got some really cool sunrises or sunsets, one or the other. I mean, there's <laughs> got to be something there. But... It depends on which direction you're yeah, driving, Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I mean, we've, no, there's been some great ones, you know. Uh, All right. Amarillo Sky, you know, I, I think I, I tweeted something or, or got an Instagram of that. You know, actually, we got some farms as we were coming through Wisconsin, so it was cool. There you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you guys out on the radio tours right now. You're probably hitting yeah. the roads early and yep. – Staying out on them late, so. Yeah, yep. A lot of driving, for sure. A lot of driving. So, uh, well, I, I guess that means I probably shouldn't hold you up much longer. <laughs> <laughs> you got to drive back to Nashville, so. <laughs> uh, but before you do, we'll play the produced version of I'm great, Good. Great, But I want you to tell us a little bit about it, you know, kind of what, what's going in yeah. on the song. Yeah, so it's a Mark Nessler, Marty Dodson song, um, and my producer, Matt McClure, sent it to me, and Matt produces Lee Bryce, uh, you know, hard to, hard to Love, I Drive Your Truck, so, you know, I knew I'd be getting some great material from Matt, and uh, this was one of the first songs that came in, and it talks about this guy that... Uh, He's got this girl that he really wants to be with, and and uh, he's really got to clean up his act if he's even going to have a shot. Yeah, and uh, and I think it's a pretty cool song, so I, it's relatable, and and uh, you know, I guess you got to stop drinking if you're going to get this chick. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> that the whole reason why you got to stop drinking is like what, right in the first line of the song yep. too. By yep. the way, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you to Joey, fifteen dollars. Uh, yep. Thank you guys for stopping in. Thanks for having me. And then Levi Riggs, thank you, sir, thank for you. Uh, for tripping on up here to the oh, Northwoods. It, it was great. Nice it, and cold. <laughs> very. <laughs> it's twenty below this morning when yeah. I woke up. So oh, at least it's five now. Yeah. Temperature, not time. Right. It's five. Right. <laughs> <laughs> good luck with your drive home, All sir, right, and good luck with everything. Thank you. thank you. Again, here's Levi Riggs. His new one. It's called "I'm Good" on Off the Beaten Path Podcast. Me, Ben Merritt.
like us on Facebook. Are you on Facebook or Twitter? At Facebook.com slash Off the Beaten Path. And follow us on Twitter at OTBP Podcast. I felt my heart break when I found out. Didn't know what to say or do at all. When I looked at you in the eyes and you lied to me, you lied to me. I hope you know that you broke my heart and I, I hope you feel the pain you made me feel that day and I hope you cried over losing me and I hope you learned your lesson, a lesson learned, yeah. I can't believe you After everything we've been through That you could cheat on me And not even feel guilty Why you, why did you You do that to me It really hurt me so I hope you know You broke my heart Off the Beaten Path podcast, me, Ben Merritt, and there is the large voice of Miss McKenna Faith off of her sophomore album, We Like Trucks. That is, I hope you know. McKenna has been around for quite a while. As a matter of fact, uh, she has shared the stage with the likes of Blake Shelton, Trace Atkins, Dirk Bentley, Luke Bryan, Joe Nichols, Kelly Pickler, Scotty McCreary, Lee Bryce, Neil McCoy, Jared Neiman, Thomas Rhett, Randy Hauser. Bunch of other ones. <laughs> she's She's been out there for a little while. As a matter of fact, the backing band on her brand new album, We Like Trucks, is actually Toby Keith's touring band. Yeah. So, McKenna, she is going to be doing some pretty good things. Again, McKenna Faith, uh, make sure you find her online. That's McKenna-Faith.com. She's got her Facebook feed, her Twitter, her YouTube, all that jazz, and Instagram. Because Instagram's just so great. <laughs> I need to start doing that stuff. Ben Merritt again, hanging out with you here on Off the Beaten Path Podcast. Hopefully introducing you to some brand new country music out there. Again, it may not necessarily be what you like. It may not necessarily be your next favorite. But hopefully you're a little appreciative. And you're like, man, there is way more country music out there than I thought. And I'm trying to introduce you to that. 
And a good place to look seems to be Australia. I got another group of Aussies. I had Grayson on the show before. I've talked to a bunch of others. Uh, But I've got another group. It's the Wolf Brothers. The Wolf Brothers have played them before, but I didn't know that they were Aussies. Uh, As a matter of fact, you listen to them and you're like, wait a a minute. So we're going to circle back just because why not? They're hailing from southern Tasmania, as a matter of fact. Just a pair of brothers and a bunch of other friends, and they just kind of made it. As a matter of fact, the way that they made it is they made it all the way to the finals for Australia's Got Talent, I believe. Is that the one that it is? Uh, yes, Australia's Got Talent. So uh, so not the one that Keith Urban judged. So <laughs> to Keith Urban, not picking them. I right. Hey, he probably would have, as a matter of fact. So, But again, the, uh, the Wolf Brothers from Southern Tasmania – Check them out, man. They are amazing. By the way, that's Wolf with an E, so W-O-L-F-E, brothers. Um, they are amazing. These guys have been around and around, and they're doing their thing, and their debut album called It's On. And actually, this is the title tracks of said album. And here it is. It sounds like uh, just anybody from Georgia or Tennessee or any country artist. Trust me, country is worldwide. It's off the Beaten Path podcast, made by Merit. <laughs>
got a computer. Be sure to find Off the Beaten Path on the internet. Country radio on my computer. On Facebook. Internets. Internets. And Twitter. Don't hide your face from the morning sun. I love you just the same with no makeup on it. Maybe simple, but it's true. Can't take my eyes off of you. Now don't apologize for getting angry. It's all right sometimes if you take it out on me. I'm here no matter what you do. No matter what we go through. Just the same, just the same I'm always gonna feel this way No, it's never gonna change Until the last breath I take I'm gonna love you just the same There's gonna come a time When you have your doubts And it might cross your mind That we ain't working out it Kill me to see you go Oh, cause I want you to know I'm gonna love you just the same, just the same I'm always gonna feel this way No, it's never gonna change until the last breath I take I'm gonna love you just the same Just the same, just the same I'm always gonna feel this way No, it's never gonna change Until the last breath I take I'm gonna love you just the same Gonna love you just the same Gonna love you just the same the same Off the Beaten Path podcast with me, Ben Merritt, and there you go. That was spectacular. That was Rick Monroe and just the same. Ben Merritt, whoo, actually I'm just getting introduced to Rick Monroe and I'm already dumbfounded. Like, how did I not know about this guy? Rick Monroe's been around for a while. Uh, you can check him out on Spotify, on iTunes, YouTube. He does some kind of cool stuff on YouTube, actually. So, uh, been around a while, and as a matter of fact, he's kind of like the international version of the country music's ambassador. Like, he's been everywhere. Russia, Bosnia, Kosovo, Macedonia, Hungary, Honduras, Ecuador, Puerto Rico, Cuba, Vietnam. As a matter of fact, in Vietnam, he was... Actually, the guy who sang the national anthem, the United States national anthem, for the first time in 25 years. It, it, it <laughs> blew my mind. Uh, so, again, check out Rick Monroe. Obviously, you heard the the voice. Man, that voice is spectacular. And I'm not trying to fanboy out here or geek out or anything, but check it out. Rick Monroe and Just the Same. Actually not even released yet. At the time that I put this podcast up, that song is not available on iTunes. You will have to wait a little bit to get that one. But, whew, it's uh, available April 24th of 2014. If I'm correct, in 23rd. Ah, I was so close. Anyway, so April 23rd of 2014, you'll be able to pick that one up on iTunes and Amazon and all that. So, whew, I'm, I'm excited. Anyway, stick around. Gonna wrap it up. Thank you to Levi Riggs for stopping by. But first, I gotta play it. It's Keith Anderson.
His brand new one. I'll bring the music. It's kind of because I'll bring the music. You know? It's off the beaten path podcast. Meet Ben Merritt. Off the Beaten Path podcast, me, Ben Merritt, and there you go. That is Keith Anderson, not bring the music. Yeah. Former Mr. Oklahoma bodybuilder. I still can't believe that. Uh, but I guess that's probably one of those things where once you're a Oklahoma, Mr. Oklahoma bodybuilder, you're probably always a Mr. Oklahoma bodybuilder. Am I right? Am I? I wouldn't know. I'm not athletic at all. So don't worry, everybody. That wasn't a tease. Keith Anderson is actually putting out brand new music again. He took some time, do the family thing, do a little bit of touring, do some writing on his own. But uh, now he's back. As a matter of fact, he's got a new son. Jackson Creed Anderson was born on November uh, 13th. Uh, so, you know, got the new new kid, new perspective. 
Same old great rockin' country style. Again, three chords, three chords and country music. That's pretty much how Keith Anderson rolls. So looking forward to continually hearing that new stuff. Uh, if you're trying to go to his website, find out more details right now, though, probably not going to happen because, uh, well, as you probably just heard, all you're going to get is a clip from the song. I just opened his website. It's got a couple of tour dates and a little clip, about a minute long of the new tune. I'll bring the music. Uh, but they're working on getting him a brand new revamped, ready to roll, brand new website. So, awesome. I'm a big fan of Keith Anderson. That I say that because, A, I like his music, and B, I don't want him to kick my butt. So, <laughs> I know he won't. He's a really nice guy. I've met him. So, But other than that, yeah. So there you go. That's off the beaten path podcast for me this uh, this week. Next week is really easy for me. As a matter of fact, I don't think you'll hear from me at all next week. So it's uh, just going to be Charlie Parr. Doing my interview with Charlie, and uh, we're just going to sit back and listen to it. I haven't quite decided if I'm going to tone down the whole thing or if I'm going to play the whole three hours. Yeah, he went three hours straight. So, yeah. We'll find out, won't we? (laughs) But next week is, again, and thank you to all of you for being so cool with everything that I'm up to. And I'm I'm so appreciative, and I really do love it. Uh, but next week is the one year anniversary of me starting this little project, this little podcast project. So there was snow on the ground when I started, there's snow on the ground still. It almost feels kind of (laughs) perfect. So next week is the one year anniversary and I appreciate it again. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate everything that you've done with me and for me and, uh, looking forward to continuing. So for now it's off the beaten path podcast with me, Ben Merritt.